is an indication of just how flexible Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo are and how well they work together. People are lurching around trying to do perspective work in Designer. Well, here's what you can do. Let's open up Designer. Now you can see I've got two that I've already done there. You have to be careful not to give the new ones the same name. So let's create a new document in Designer. Uh, device, no, oh, I don't want to do device. I want to do a photo. Dimensions, transparent, it's six by four. I want four by six. Let's give it a transparent background as well. Okay, I also want it in pixels. No, don't go back to there. I want photo six by four in pixels. Portrait mode. Okay, now there we go. Up there, move tool because I want to resize it. I don't like the, the boundaries at the moment. There's our only layer and we're going to put some art text on there. Art text. Let's call this subscribe. Now, subscribe to what? Well, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you really would like to do something nice for me. So let's use subscribe. Now, what I want to do is be able to move that. Will this move? Uh, it should do. There we go. And it's centered and it's on the baseline. Well, it's on the center line. It's based on the center line. Now, I want to do this in perspective. I want this side on. No, you can't do it side on because that option's not available in Designer. But what I haven't done yet is save this board. You'll notice it says subscribe, but it's untitled. Let's give it a title, rename it and call it Y-O-U-T-U-B-E sub YouTube subscribe. Don't want it too complex, but that'll stand out from the other things that are in there. Click on OK. You'll see now that it's called YouTube subscribe. Nice. Let's go and save it. And it saves to the system. What more can we do with that? Oh, notifications. We don't want to do anything with that at the moment because it's we can't. So let's go back to photos. There's photos, and you can see there's a couple of cookies that I baked earlier on. But let's go and open a document from the cloud. And I called it what? YouTube subscribe. There it is. That's an Affinity Designer. And we're in Affinity Photo. There's your subscribe button, all nicely highlighted and centered. Let's go to filter. Now this is going to do something. We could rasterize that layer first, but it will do it automatically for us. I want distortions and I want perspective, L, M, perspective. There it is now. You can't see much because it's in black and it's on a black screen. Okay, the assistant rasterized the layer. Very good, that's what I wanted it to do. So let's give that some perspective, shall we? Drag it down there, drag that across there. Let's make it a bit bigger so it looks really cool. Go up there, nope, it goes back. So if you try and move that, you get all sorts of problems. It won't do it, perspective. There it is again, because you need to do something else. You need to go right down the bottom where it says apply. And that applies it to the layer. Now we can move that to wherever we want. 
And because it's in photo, there are no automatic guidelines. So we're gonna go and put the guides in. Add horizontal guide, add vertical guide. Go back to the move tool, center it. Oh, stop wriggling, Robert, stop wriggling. That's pretty good. Okay, and there it is. Now, save it again. There it goes, saving it. So that document is saved, but it's still a designer document. And I can show you this. See, we're in photo up here. There's subscribe, and it's called YouTube subscribe. Let's get out of Affinity Photo, go back to designer. There's a whole bunch of things there. You choose subscribe. Now, here's a trick. If you want to open that again, you've got to close that one and don't save it. Open the document from the cloud and somewhere in here, YouTube subscribe, the bottom one and the little icon is in perspective. Yes. And there you go. How magic is that? Too easy. Now you can do whatever you like on there. Add another layer. Mmm. Kaplunk. That pixel layer or a vector layer if you like. But there it is. And your text is nicely in perspective. Now, how's that? That's pretty cool. Let's just save it. It did it, I think. I don't think I tapped the wrong one. Save. There we go. Exit. Subscribe, subscribe. And don't remember. Don't forget. Well, don't remember. Most people won't. I certainly won't with my ancient memory to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.